iPhone 6S Force Touch now used for other creative purposes. Benchmarks now show us how powerful the Surface Book is compared to the MacBook Pro, and the LG V10 starts making its way to the US carriers with some deals. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, I don't understand why some people don't like Monday jokes and still hate Mondays along with me. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with Apple. Those of you waiting for the new Apple TV, we just learned uh, two things. Number one, the pre-orders start today. Uh, the second is that there's actually two models. There's an $149 model with 32 gigs of storage, and then an $199 model with, uh, well, 64 gigs of storage, because obviously you can play games on this, store everything. And that's interesting. And uh, well, if you order today, you'll get it by November 3rd or somewhere around there, which is an interesting date. Uh, we will keep you posted, most likely. I will be ordering mine. Other interesting official news come from LG. Those of you interested in the LG V10, you can pretty much order it now on T-Mobile and AT&T. In the case of AT&T though, you'll be paying $250 plus a contract or $700 off the bat, where in the case of T-Mobile, you actually get a $100 discount at just $600. So for those of you interested, there are carrier options, but we do remember that there's a Verizon variant as well. And if you thought that 3D touch technology on the iPhone 6S was just for shortcuts, well, there are developers that are already taking advantage of it. And there is this new application called the plum o -meter. And the idea is that, uh, well, you can place a plum on top of it and you can actually weigh it. So it uses force touch to detect the amount of force applied by the, you know, whatever products you use. And uh, yeah, there should be other scale applications coming very soon. But uh, for those of you that didn't know, this is actually not new for the Huawei device that's also capable of force touch technology. And if you are on the ropes waiting for the new Microsoft Lumias, the 950 or 950 XL, and you are in the UK, there are some good news as uh, there seems to be a drop in price of up to 100 pounds in the Lumia 950 and 950 XL from the previous retail prices, uh, which is rather interesting. We're not really sure if it has to do with the fact that Microsoft has just learned that there is less demand than they expected, or they just want to be more aggressive. I hope it's the latter because the, these products are actually rather cool. Can't wait to review them. And finally, the interesting news of the day had to do with the Microsoft Surface Book. The claims from Microsoft that this product was more powerful than the Retina MacBook Pro were true to some extent because, uh, well, it is twice as fast as the 13-inch MacBook Pro, but then again, that 13-incher, if you do some benchmarking and look at the specs, there's really very little difference between this product and the 13-inch MacBook Air if you beef it up. So yeah, obviously the 13-inch MacBook Pro is not as powerful as the 15-inch model, but then again, I do feel that is somewhat of a fair comparison, particularly because, well, the Surface Book is actually $300 more expensive. So it leads me to the question of the day. If you had to choose right now, which of these products would you buy? And I'm actually gonna include the Surface Pro 4, the Surface Book, or a 13-inch MacBook Pro. Which one would you pick? In my case, I stayed away from the 13-inch MacBook Pro because of the lack of the quad-core processor back in the day. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm really compelled for the Surface Book, except for the price tag. Leave us a comment down below. We would love to know what you want. Friends, as always, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier or before this video was filmed, make sure you follow us on BargainOut.com and subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. And follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.